Hey guys and welcome to Crazy Burger. So recently we looked at the Sydney Hunter collection on Evercade and our review was that the cart was a reasonable good cart, reasonable games, but not great value for money. There are only four games, not the longest games in the world, uh, and I just felt that the games are kind of smaller in budget, therefore it really felt like it was lacking in massive value. So in this video, I'm actually looking at another Sydney Hunter game that is available on Xbox, PlayStation, um, Steam, Nintendo Switch, and wondering why this game wasn't included within this collection on Evercade. Let's have a look at it. Okay, so this is Sydney Hunter and the Curse of the Mayan, uh, and it was originally released on Steam September 2019. It has since been released in other formats, so this is Xbox, PlayStation, and Nintendo Switch. There are physical versions out there available as well. Um, but on the Steam uh, sort of library, this cost me £7.19. And after playing it for a, sort of a brief period, I don't really see why this wouldn't have been included in the Sydney Hunter collection. Um, this probably seems like a far more in-depth game, admittedly. So there is a lot more value to this uh, sort of game, and there's more depth to it. Uh, and playing through it, it certainly made me uh, feel a little bit like I was awakening. It sort of had that kind of vibe, but it does have that similar sort of graphic style as well. Um, so. Have a look at it, there's no no um, real reason to see why this would not run on Evercade devices and get its own port. I mean, that might be one of the reasons why it's not been released on Evercade, maybe as yet, given the fact that it would probably need a, a, a native port to Evercade, meaning it would probably need a little bit of extra work to get uh, this working on the device. But I don't think it would have any problem working on the device. I guess it could have been a staffing issue or maybe that it's just not going to be included on Evercade at all. Um, I have a sneaking suspicion so we might see it at some point. I don't think this is a good enough or big enough game to be on a, like a single cart for example. But there's a possibility we could see this maybe in a future dual uh, collection with another game. Maybe from Collector Vision as well. Um, I'm not really sure, maybe we'll never see it. It would be a shame because I think this game is potentially the best Sydney Hunter game they've actually released. Out of all the games that I played on this, the Evercade Sydney Hunter collection, I thought the Sacred Tribe was definitely the best one. Uh, and that kind of reminds me a little bit like this one. It's more of a kind of um, sort of exploration level based with bosses style game. It's more modernised, for example, uh, even though it's got that sort of classic retro style that we all love uh, on Evercade. Uh, but yeah. I'm not sure why they didn't include it, I'm sure they have their reasons, it might be down to money, maybe they just couldn't do a, a sort of deal for it, I don't know, but it's such a shame that they didn't add this to the collection, because it would have made this collection, on Evercade, a must-have collection, rather than one of those ones that you'll probably enjoy it, but you'll probably feel as if you've been a little bit short-changed, in my opinion. Anyway guys, I'll let the video play out, it's just a sort of quick playthrough of the first uh, sort of level till we get to the boss and a little bit of the second level. I think it's a really good game and I'm kind of looking forward to playing it more. It's absolutely fantastic and it's available in all formats out there um, if you're interested in playing it and you can pick up a physical version although it is a lot more expensive if you want a physical version of this game. Anyway guys, I'll leave you with the rest of the game to play through. Let me know your thoughts as well.
Okay guys, so that's us reached the, near the end of the video. Let me know, what do you think of this Sydney Hunter game? Do you think we should have had it on the collection? Do you think we'll see it on Avercade at some point in the future? Whether it be a single car or a dual collection? Let's hope so, because this is a really, really good game. I think it's just a massive shame that they didn't add value to the car and include it. I don't really see any huge issues in why they didn't. It could be down to money, it could be down to time, it could be a mixture of these factors, or maybe they just did not want to do the license for this game uh, altogether. But anyway, let me know your thoughts. I appreciate your uh, watching. Thank you very much, and we'll catch you again in the next one. Bye for now.